Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison and I make beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about all of my summer essentials. These are the things that I started wearing and shopping for immediately once I moved to New York and dove straight into summer. And I think just from a practical and realistic standpoint, these are the things that I'm actually going to be wearing all summer. And these are the things I would say are like going to make up my summer uniform. So to start off, I think the number one favorite thing that I'm going to be wearing and reaching for all the time this summer are some long shorts. I actually fell in love with these tailored Bermuda shorts from H&M and I got them both in white and black and I found that whenever it's been hot and I needed to get dressed to go out I have always been reaching for some kind of shorts like these. They're just so freaking comfortable. They're lightweight. They have pockets. The just like pleated and tailored fit makes it look so much more polished but it's still super, super comfortable. They have a good amount of thigh coverage, which I think is key for those blazing hot car seats and public transportation. I do wanna get these hemmed just so that they hit at a little bit more of a flattering length on me. I think they hit like right above my knee and I'm five foot three. But other than that, I think these shorts are such a good find at H&M. The white ones aren't even that see-through. So I would definitely recommend these. I also have these white sweat shorts. I got these from Forever 21 like a year ago. And then I also have these like really nice chocolate brown elastic shorts that are a little bit shorter than the Bermuda ones. I find all of these really easy to style and I don't see myself going back to short shorts anytime soon. Linen pants are my next must have for this summer. These are from Arquette and they're really nice, just basic black color. Pants are always nice to have when you wanna be a little bit more covered up but still want something super lightweight and breathable. These are basically my sweatpants for the summer, but I love the fit of these in particular. I feel like they're really easy to dress up a little bit more. Even though linen is such a like lived in comfy fabric, these have a nice high waist and a little bit of a straighter wide leg. I also would just recommend getting a pair of black linen pants in particular because they are a little bit easier to dress up and because linen pants tend to be so like thin and sheer. So I feel like it's pretty hard to find a pair that are white or even a light beige that aren't too sheer. And then to balance out all of the loose and flowy fabric on the bottom that's a little bit longer, I have definitely been styling a lot of those with some cropped tank tops. I honestly have never been a huge crop top person. I love the way they look, but I definitely feel a lot more comfortable just covered up. But I think what I found, especially for the warmer weather, is that I would much rather wear something a little bit longer and looser and baggier on the bottom and then balance that out with something that shows a little bit more skin and is a little bit more fitted on top. The top that I'm wearing right now has been one of my favorites. This one is from Aritzia. It's the TNA cropped rib tank and I like this one because it just kind of looks like a regular basic ribbed tank top but it's like the perfect cropped length on me. It's actually a little bit shorter than some of my other cropped tops like the sculpt knit tanks that I'm going to talk about in a sec. I have a short torso so it's actually kind of hard to find tops that are cropped enough to actually be above the pants yeah i really like this one i can still wear a bra with it really comfortable and then some of my other favorites these are actually all from aritzia but i am a big fan of the sculpt knit tanks they are super super flattering so i picked up another one in black and then i also really like the tiny tank this one just has some really cute dainty straps and it's also a really nice cropped length. I'm really liking collecting a couple of different tops like these in some neutral colors and then that way they just pair super super easily with any of the bottoms that I have. And then I always need a layer on top just because places are blasting AC everywhere and this is also a great option if you live somewhere that doesn't have quite as hot of a summer. But for an extra layer I have been obsessed with a button down shirt. Is it button down or button up? Or like Oxford shirt? I don't know, but basically you know what I'm talking about. I have a bunch of different options in these now. I love anything that's a nice lightweight cotton material or linen. I love just picking any one of these and then throwing it on top of your outfit just for another layer of texture and dimension and warmth. Just roll up the sleeves a little bit and then you have a perfect little summery outfit. When shopping for button down shirts, I actually try to avoid the ones that are marketed as an oversized shirt because I find those to just have like such a voluminous cut to it. They're very wide and very long. I prefer something that actually has a slimmer cut 
and then just sizing up a little bit to get a little bit more of a relaxed fit. So this one is from H&M. I think I got it in a size medium. I find this one to be a really nice, easy, relaxed fit that isn't too long on me. I also finally got my hands on a white poplin shirt that had a fit that I liked. This one is from Zara and again, this wasn't described as an oversized shirt and I got it in a size large. And then I also have two linen button downs that I've been loving. This one is a men's linen shirt from Uniqlo and I wear this all the time. It's like the perfect light neutral beige color. And then lastly, I have a nice pop of color. I thrifted this J Crew linen button down and I love this lilac color. I think it's such a statement and looks so good in the spring and summer. I think in general this summer I've actually been leaning towards a lot more solid colors. It's still staying mostly neutral but just adding some fun pops of color through another layer like this or some accessories and I think it's been really fun and pretty easy to put together outfits that way. Okay last up for clothing. On the hottest of hot days when you don't want any fabric touching your skin at all. I think a loose flowy dress is the only way to go. It can definitely be a little bit tricky finding a nice loose flowy dress that still is pretty flattering on the body, but I did pick up this ribbed dress from H&M that I think is perfect for super hot days. I've already tested it out and that's why I don't have it with me right now. It needs to be washed. Fabric is like a very nice loose kind of slinky material and it's not fitted at all, but because of the drape to it, I feel like it just kind of skims the body and doesn't make you lose your shape entirely. I also really love the chocolate brown color of the dress. I've been seeing this color a lot more, and I feel like it's just such a nice, like, earthy alternative to, like, a black dress. But I do have this dress right here from H&M that I also picked up. I'm thinking of returning it, but I do really love the neckline and the fabric of this dress. It's such a beautiful like gauzy cotton material that is absolute perfection for a hot day. This one is also what I would consider to be like a maxi length dress, which I find to just not be super flattering on me. So I'm a little bit torn. I might see if I should get this altered or something or just look for another alternative. But otherwise, I think this is just like another perfect dress for super hot days where nothing is constricting and everything is nice and easy breezy. When it comes to footwear, I already know that the shoes I'm going to be getting the most wear out of are my chunky sandals. I can never get enough of those dainty strappy sandals, but those just aren't nearly as comfortable as chunky sandals, so I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm going to be wearing those all the time. But in general, I do feel like a pair of black sandals and Nude sandals are a must-have in your summer wardrobe. These black sandals are from Mango. They're the like leather dad sandal kind of look. I reach for these all the time. They're super comfortable. They go with everything and I feel like they still look pretty chic. And then if I really want to optimize for comfort, I will always reach for the sandals. These are from Cole Haan and I really love the braided detail it has on the sandals. But these are actually my most comfortable sandals ever. I think because there is quite a bit more coverage with the straps on the shoe and the insole is really nice and cushioned. So I absolutely love these. Also love the color of them and these also go with pretty much everything. And then lastly, we're gonna finish up with some accessories. First up we have bags and I think this summer I'm just gonna become a bag lady. There's no avoiding it. I love a good small crossbody bag year round, but especially for the summer. And this one is my current favorite. This is my Bottega Veneta mini pouch. This bag actually does hold like my very immediate essentials. It holds my wallet and my keys and a camera, which is pretty good in my opinion. So this bag has pretty much been my daily bag, but there are a lot of days where I want to bring my shirt and just put it in the bag or I need to bring an umbrella. So I pretty much have started just bringing an extra tote bag every time that I go out with me. You can't go wrong with a nice basic canvas tote. This one is from Indigo Vintage, which is one of my favorite vintage shops back in the Bay Area. I also got this bag recently, which I am so obsessed with. I ordered it off of eBay and it's a handmade crocheted checkered bag and it's just the cutest thing ever. I absolutely love the color combination. It just makes any outfit look more summery and fun. So yeah, this summer you'll probably find me either carrying this bag or the Bottega and then just like hauling my tote bag on on the other side. The last accessory that I wanted to include in this video both for aesthetic and for practicality is a hair claw. This one is from a shop machete and it's just like the be most beautiful checkered overlaid on top of like a tortoise shell 
color and it's so cute. Clearly I've been obsessed with the checkered print lately and I'm so glad that I didn't mention this in my spring video. It was like the one trend that I forgot to include and it's definitely been the one that I've become the most obsessed with. I pretty much always have to put up my hair with one of these or make sure that I bring one because when it's hot and humid and you're all sweaty you just don't want your hair hanging around. So yeah that is pretty much it for what I'm going to be wearing this summer. At some point I'll probably film like a 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe or just like a lookbook or something and you will definitely be seeing a lot of these pieces. Let me know in the comments what your summer wardrobe consists of and if you have any tips on staying comfortable in this super hot weather. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!